Now here I have a fire scene. It's a still image. Now there's nothing moving. What I could do if I want is I could just have it be a still image, add the sound of crackling, and people say, ah, it's a beautiful still photograph of a fire. But it'd be neat if I could add a little bit of fire to it to give some believability to this still image. And we can with some products from Rampant Design Tools. They have some amazing fire images. All right, let's use this. And let's put our playhead at the beginning, type the letter Q. And now as I play this back, notice that the aspect ratio is different. This is perfectly, well, it's not okay. In fact, it, I can't have it go off the top of the frame. Uh, let's try something a little bit different. No, it's still too much, too much, too much. We've got so much fire to pick from here. All right, there we go. So let's just take this one, drag it down. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we put our playhead here. Now let's change the position of this. We'll just set the Y value down so the fire sits right at the bottom of the frame, right about there. And we'll set this to screen because it's the, the flame. And look at this. It's beautiful. It's, it's ugly. It's the wrong color. It's the wrong position. It's not believable. It's a mess. Well, a couple things to keep in mind. If we change our blend mode, if we change our blend mode from screen to lighter, See where it says lighten? Watch what happens to the color of the flame. It's gone gold. And it ties in much better with that fire in the background, except what's it burning on? It, it, it's, just, it's just sitting there. It's like it's this, this plate that's in front of the, the, the fire itself. It looks just fake. So one of the things that you want to look at is not only how do we use blend modes, but how do we use blend modes appropriately? For instance, here I have a piece of fire. And notice how it's just a little piece right there, and it's not at the bottom of the frame. It's at the at sort of in the middle. And it's got no hard defined edge. I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to screen, because you generally work with screen with flames, except we want to work with light, and so it changes the color. And now as I play this, look at the fire burning right there. See it? It looks like it's burning coming out of that fallen log. It's much more believable, much more interesting, because it's not coming up from the bottom of the frame and looking like it's an artificial layer in front. It looks much more like it's integrated. There we go. Integrated with the flames that are going on elsewhere in the still image. And if I did a zoom to that particular log, it would become even more believable. Rampant Design Tools is at rampantdesigntools.com. Products are available at their website. It also supports virtually all NLEs on both Mac and Windows. Prices start at $79 for their smaller collections and range based upon the quantity of clips and resolution. Rampant supports resolutions up to 5K, and they literally have thousands of different effects and styles to choose from. And these QuickTime movies can be used in any NLE. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at fire, light leaks, and effects using blend modes in both Final Cut Pro 10 and Adobe Premiere. For the complete version of this training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for webinar 174. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money.
You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.